sneaker review and Philly's like is this box even your shoes? I don't even actually know if this box so has much. So if we open yeah. this and it's gonna have like some random stuff, it's gonna be quite weird. Okay, you open it. <laughs> you just broke it. That's not the button that you. That use. was the button. That's not the button. This is the button. She sucks. You're just gonna stay there. You there you go. There you go, Shaza. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> it's not a shoe box. It's not a shoe box. It's not a shoe box. What is it? This is what it is, but we're looking for bape, aren't we? No, we're looking for a shoe box. Ah, oh, it's a Nike box. It's a Nike box. I was looking for like Reebok or Puma, Puma. A Puma box. It is. Wait a bit. Nike stock SP. Oh, you ordered them already. I thought you were meeting up. We went to Sydney and I tried on a pair at Soulmate. I really, really liked them. I thought they were a really, really nice shoe. I always actually wanted them. They just didn't have my size when I was online trying to buy it. And also when they actually came out, everyone was crazy over them. I found a really, really good bargain off eBay. Let's see what you think, so Billy. let's see what I think of these shoes. <laughs> I already know what they look like because you tried them on in Sydney, as you said. I already don't really like them, so yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the shoe that I received. It's a sock dart, the red Independence Day sock dart. If you guys know what it is, it came in three different colors. It came in a white, a blue, and a red. Obviously, it indicates the United States of America's actual flag. But there's just something about these red ones that I don't really like. Okay, so it's a lid. So on the box, you can't really see, but there's a tinge of, of a white sticker that says Nike on it. Oh, you guys can kind of see it. And it's all over the box everywhere else, which is kind of cool. I like that. This is what's inside the box. Obviously, just tissue paper. But this tissue paper has the same effect that the box actually has as well. It has the Nike, the old school Nike printed on it in another like layer of white. If you guys can see it through this way, it's probably easier. Can you open them? It's got like this. This is Nike on it. There goes the shoe. So this is the shoe. Oh. This is the shoe that I got. The Nike Sock Dart Independence Day in the red. This is the shoe and it is red. The first time I saw these shoes on feet for the getting released, I was like, I just had to get this shoe. I really, really like. I've got a pair in black, but I just had to get the red ones because I've got a thing for red shoes. So let's get into the review. I honestly thought this should be more red because this is like a pinky color. I don't really like that. And the thing that I don't like about these shoes is this thing. Like it's really weird. I, if, if, if it like blended through, I reckon it would be fine. But this just be really odd. Really don't like it. And if it was all fully red, it would be better. I don't really understand this bit. Like does it actually come undone? It does. That was horrible. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, I just undid it. They kind of remind me of like those, those shoes where you have like toes on them and like children's shoes because these are really easy for kids. As you guys can see, it has the traditional sock dart sort of uh, cage. I don't know what, yeah, I call it a cage, a plastic cage. The actual plastic cage is a different color to the red. On camera, it does look like it's it's, the same color but it's a very light red or a salmon sort of pink tinge to it it has the nike logos on both sides of the cage and it has two dots here to connect the cage to the shoe so when the cage is open it looks like this which is cool i actually like the cage on this shoe so i probably won't take the cage off this shoe this is what it looks like inside I've always seen him take this out, so let's see what that means. That's what that looks like. And you can see the sewing on the inside. I'm not sure if that's meant to be there or not, but yeah. That's pretty much a shoe. I don't think it's that great, to be honest. Oh, the struggle to get these in. I'm just gonna leave them out. The infamous. Soul. Ooh. The soul looks like so. 
actually has a really really cool uh, print here. It's a bit of technology in the sole as well. Just right there, as you guys can see, there's grooves in it. Right here. It's a little description on the sticker. Inside of it, it's very basic. It just has whatever you usually see inside an insole. You can see the sewing, you can see just whatever it is inside it. Okay, so this is the bottom of the shoe. It looks really, the color looks actually really nice in camera. But in person, it's like this weird red color. It looks pretty grippy. This, this is like, I don't understand this pattern here. It's just random. It looks like a maze or something. Let's go on with the grip of this shoe. The bottom of this shoe looks like so. It looks like it's supposed to be more of a lifestyle shoe rather than a running shoe, but people have actually made it as a running shoe. I wouldn't run in it, to be honest. Pretty much what I think. Oh, this is different. I don't know what this does, but that's kind of cool. I can see my face in it. There's like this square thing here, and I can see my reflection in it. Kind of reminds me of like a camera. Like it could look like a secret camera. It actually has a Nike symbol at the back of this. Behind this little thing right here, it's a piece of, it's like a plastic window that has a Nike symbol. That's cool as well. This bit's very flimsy. Like it's very like, socky, which is the sock dart, I'm guessing. This material here is supposed to be, so it imitates a sock. So when you actually put your feet in it, it should absorb and wrap around your feet, which is great. Also has this cool little toe, this rubber toe. You guys can see there. It's a bit right here. But apparently they're really comfortable, so if they're comfortable, then that's okay. Even though they look ugly. That's what I think of these shoes. They're really, really weird. Thank you all for watching me. I personally really like this shoe. I always wanted it. I only buy shoes that I like. I'm not actually just buying it because of the hype. I didn't want to buy it at the beginning because they sold out like crazy. I remember me and Philly were trying to buy this on End and on a whole bunch of other websites in Europe and America. And it was just nearly impossible to get. But I'm so glad that I paid pretty much close to retail for these shoes. Actually, less than retail. I paid two, 250 Australian, which is pretty good. Also, I got a 10% off eBay as well, which is great. Do some on foot shots. I hope you guys enjoyed this sneaker review. Nothing really crazy about this sneaker. It's just a beautiful shoe, classic silhouette. I can't wait to get the, the Nike Soft Darts in the Oreo colorway. That's probably another color that I really want in these. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I call out the squad and we roll. Got them. Everybody roll up like skirt. Okay, hold up, wait a minute. I've been trapping out the backyard. Look me in my eye, boy. Can't you tell that I'm a rap star? Got a squad in every city, boy. I don't do holes, I'm a picky boy. I don't talk about it, really, I get a boy. But you know my style, turn me to a pretty boy. Good luck. They know we 